Well, I lied yesterday. That wasn't the last video. I decided to do another one. <clears throat> They're more fun than pictures anyway. Um, on the right here, you have uh, the way I was controlling the uh, switch last night. Uh, I didn't like that. It's bulky. You've got your wires hanging down below the piece of wood so you can't just mount it flush on something. Uh, it could be downsized, but definitely has its limitations. Another problem is when you put this extension on the the switch, these, this nut here won't come off over it. So, you know, if you ever wanted to take it apart, it would be a problem. So, what I came up with, I just mounted a switch directly to a servo. I just glued it on with CA. Could be done better, obviously, but I'm just experimenting here. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. Uh, anyway, you can see what it is. It, uh, I've taken two round um, servo arms and I mounted one higher to get more, you know, if you had a real big one, you could just use that, but I had to put two together. That's what the two outside screws are for. Two out, these are just holding the two servo arms together. Uh, this one in the middle, that's actually where the drive pivot screw is. So anyway, all it is is uh, these servos work opposite directions just by coincidence but so when you and I'm doing this with a servo tester so it's gonna wiggle around some but you know you go all the way one way you know it the other way work the other switch works but you know it's kind of a pain in the rear this is much simpler much neater you know, and it'll come to stop right there uh, advantages are you know you, you could probably well uh, really this uh, the switch needs to be per pretty much permanently mounted to the servo I don't think double side tape would be good because it could easily come loose and start wiggling but the good thing is the servo you know you could mount the servo any way you want it. You could use standard mounting or you could use double side tape and just stick the sur this whole unit on the inside of the fuselage somewhere because there's no stress on it. This one puts stress between the servo and the switch, you know. But with this one, it's just all self-contained on the servo itself, so um you don't have to get carried away with how strong you mount the servo or the switch and you just you can stick it anywhere probably work fine it's just bouncing around inside the fuselage but anyway it's being real jerky because i'm moving it jerky but it wouldn't when controlled by the transmitter obviously it would be real smooth Anyway, I like this a lot better. That's probably the way I'll do my switches. There you go.